peanut butter mixed in with uh, all right, gang, live. Welcome to the world of Hearthron. I'm your host, storyteller, and dungeon master, Bilbo. Tonight, we continue our series, Tales from the Yawning Portal. This is our third episode of Dead and Fae, our 61st episode of Tales from the Yawning Portal. The plan is to play the same characters through each of the adventures in the Yawning Portal and level up characters accordingly and finish with the Tomb of Horrors where the Dungeon Master will kill them all if they so choose to go in there. Our players have completed the Sun of Citadel, Forge of Fury, the Hidden Shrine of Tomoachan, and White Clue Mountain. You can go back on YouTube and watch any of these great adventures. So please go out to our YouTube channel, uh, hit the subscribe button, <coughs> if you like our videos, hit the like. Uh, we're a young, growing uh, channel. Trying to get bigger and bigger. Um, a goal of 100 uh, followers here on Twitch by November 3rd when we do our extra live stream. Uh, I do have a disclaimer. Some of the monsters might be exchanged for some creatures from Cobalt Press to add variety to the adventure and keep my experienced players guessing while keeping the creature ratings within the adventure the same. I understand, Kit, you're going to go ahead and recap last week's episode for us. Yes? Yeah. Sorry. Right. Yeah, that's okay. I was going to make dice out of the container because they did not come out of the container. <clears throat> but last week, we started with us fighting the creature. What creature? What? I can't remember the name of the Rock. creature. Brock. 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 Like Lee's Brock. Saz taking it, uh, shooting it, and killing it. One shot, one kill. <laughs> After we weakened it. No, we basically killed it. He did 23 <laughs> between And Zaz, Zaz gave the vampire some blood for some information. Mm -hmm. And then we, <clears throat> we found out that the female leading the group of fighters in the pit was actually Sa Solandra. Yeah, you got it. I almost said cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> cilantro. Cilantro, cilantro. It tastes like cilantro. You say potato, I say potato. Yeah, well, then tomato, you say we joined forces and started toward, we went to, we headed towards the Temple of Doom, or Temple of Chaos. Temple of Chaos. Temple of Chaos. I'm sorry, I said Doom. <laughs> I am right. not Indiana Jones. It's alright, we're in the Doom. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, you're in and then vault. we got a, three of us triggered a trap inside one of the rooms, and Zaz, Erebus, and Dar got shocked. That's where we left off. That is correct. So, uh, Kat, would you like an inspiration die? Or... Inspiration die. All right, so go ahead and mark that on your character so you have that for use later on this evening, possibly. So currently, our heroes are split in two uh, within the room here. We have Erebus, Dar, and Zazriel. Um, they are at a door across this long hall that has mystic glyphs, circles, on the floor. And while checking this locked door for a trap, uh, they actually were um, struck by and surrounded by this lightning flashing throughout the entire room, these streaks of lightning uh, hitting all three of them. And so, Erebus, what do you do? Sorry about that. Uh, um, <laughs> Erebus starts his ass and says, you gotta deal with something, come with me. And I walk away. All right. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so... Darn, you got this? Uh, no. Sounds good. 
<laughs> All right, so you two start walking back, uh, uh, or maybe running out of the room back towards the group. Yeah. All right, so yeah. you two head on out. Dar, what are you doing? Uh, go right with them. All right, so you run out with them. Sorry All right. That. All right, so you guys run out of uh, the room. The, uh, the lightning uh, ceases. Uh, I guess that's done. Time to go home. We're done. All right. <laughs> was the lightning, did the lightning seem to dissipate as they left? Or did it just seem to be dissipating anyway? It seemed to be dissipating anyway. Okay. But they all head out the room and yeah, it just seems to. So I'm just going to watch. Die down. Since, since they seem to be. Back. What, what, what do we think's triggered that? Oh, oh. Erebus. Erebus shrugs and walks past you. I'll be back. Erebus triggered it. <laughs> so, Erebus, you start heading back towards the vampire? You yeah, know? and I need, I need Zaz anyway to open up the portals. Yep. Okay, so you two are heading back. I'm, I'm getting interested. Hey, where are you going? I'll open it for Erebus. He goes, go. where are you going? <laughs> we'll be back. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was trying to get up to the place. Those you go. I'm like, you're, you're trying to run away from them? Yeah. All right, give me a dex check. Not athletics? Like nope, three? dex. Um, dex? Oh, I'm just... You got your, they go back basically through that whole group of warriors that you have with you. Uh, like, I, I think, oh, my back, oh, I rolled a two. All right, so yeah, you get stuck between some of the, the, these uh, uh, these uh, knights of gold, and uh, and uh, those two go by and uh, and close the portal. Of course, the portals, you know, open back up. This white glowing. Uh, keep, keep, keep our friends safe. Glyph is is going. I go over and I put myself up against the wall and I pull out my cask out of my bag of holding and I pull out. A tankard of beer, and I look at him and I say, Well, all you shiny targets over there, you may as well just sit down and be seated. This is what happens. They'll be back. Take a drink and close my eye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, the guy's like, Yeah, so they join Dar. All right. So I, you, I sit down too. Yeah, they all just kind of, they're all kind of in the sense thankful for a rest. They Short all, rest. They're all fighting a rock. Uh, so, so Short rest. rest. Take a nap. During that rest, I dropped the core. <laughs> well, giant cat. Yeah, I mean, you may want to stay until you actually. You're gonna stay cat until you have to drop. Or you're gonna drop for him. You know, even though he's saying we're taking a break, who knows? That's just out. Dar saying that. That's not the. Yeah, I would. I would not. Yeah, I'm staying in cat form until it absolutely has to wears drop. Off. There okay. you go. Good no girl. Problem. Perfect. Okay. Um. So. Zazriel and Erebus, uh, you head back in. Uh, but as, as we're walking, I'll pull out the creature. I'll reach in the bag and pull it out. Okay. Keeping my hand around its neck if I can. And I'll, uh, I'll tell Zaz, uh, we need to find out what this is before it wakes up. Okay, cool. Okay. You want to be bit by a vampire? Yeah, you want to talk to him? No, that's not what I asked, but yeah, sure, I will talk to him. <laughs> Well, sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear you say it again. <laughs> <laughs> it was in his mouth, that's do, why. Do you want to be bit by a vampire? I don't know, I already get the freaking werewolf. <laughs> 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 well, that's what I thought. Alright, let's keep going. This isn't, uh, yeah, what's her name? Maybe. <laughs> what, do you, what do you know about it? Yeah, it's pretty it's nice. Really like, yeah. very rejuvenating when he bit yeah. out of me. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah, this is... <laughs> You must be thinking, I'm not there, but you must be thinking of that legendary lady Vega and her menagerie. She'd be good by anything possible up there. Uh, I have to I have to ask Elle, but yeah, let's see if he'll offer it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It wasn't that painful though. Thought it'd be worse going in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it was a love it was a small love bite, yeah. Right. Or, I, I look at this horse more closely. Does he have, does he have anything on it? Uh, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he's uh, naked as a jaybird. So his little dangling bits are dangling in your hand. Wonderful, sir. We're back. All right. Yeah. So he's uh, 
He's just sitting on the stairs over there <coughs> across the room with uh, uh, with his uh, spawn there. Well, you, you've already returned? Mm. It's the two of you? We got, we got zapped by some lightning. Killed the rest of our party. Crazy story. <laughs> but, we came back because we want to know this little demon thing. Yes. What is it? Uh, it's a closet. It's actually her pet. Oh, his right. name's Mikkel. Oh, God. Hey, his name's Mikkel. Your new pet's name is Mikkel. It's not her pet anymore, sorry. Jesus. Yes, <laughs> and she, he's like, calm down. You already, you are, they already beat you, so. <laughs> you all play me. It's a, it's a familiar. It's your familiar. Uh, she's like, yes, it is. <laughs> He's my pet. I want him. What are you willing to do for him? Oh. You're a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I hand it over. Hey, eat. <laughs> no, this is a very insulting chip. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, I'll, I'll pause if he says oh, no. Okay. Alright. What are you gonna do for it? What do you mean, what am I gonna do for it? You know what I mean. What, what, do, you, what do you want for it? I want something in return for returning your pet. This is our prisoner. I have nothing. My master. Ah, uh, you better start begging your master. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Please, master. <laughs> I don't know what you can offer them that you haven't already given them. Um. But I want my pet, please. Yes, I Shut up! <laughs> Disgusting with you. You already lost him. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's like, well, oh, what do I do? Probably well, this has never happened in a group before. But I think he took one of the things hostage. <laughs> um. A whisper to Zabs. Why not? Why not if she can be released from his control? Good point. <clears throat> so you know our discussion from earlier. So once you have somebody under your control, when you bite them, can they be released into somebody else's control? Uh, no. And you mean in my control? Yeah. So like, like she's under me. When you bit her, yes, she was under you. There's no way to break that. Uh, no, that's killing you, of course. Yes. All right. That's just a question for later on in the experiment. Continue. Continue looking through what you want. Oh, no, no, no. Since I'll give you another piece of in, uh, helpful information if you release her pet back to her. <coughs> how to bring the lich here? I don't know how to do that. All right, sure. He Go comes ahead. and goes as he pleases. Go ahead and shoot. You may have run into him just anywhere you're I plan. Going I plan on it. But go ahead and shoot your information. Okay. So he says, um, one thing in is in the predator pools, there is a hag there, and she seeks allies in her plot against a naga. Hmm. Who's a naga? He's a, I don't know who the Naga is. I just know. It's Anaga. Oh, Anaga? Naga, your business. Anaga. Naga, your business. I thought you were trying to say that you got. No. <laughs> I was like, I've never heard of a Naga. Is the hag trustworthy? <sighs> Hags. I think they, the only trustful thing You have to be five. careful with dealing with them. That's great. Uh, high tower. <laughs> <laughs> All you do is grab them by the neck and smash their heads into the floor. Uh, you have to be very careful with them in the sense of you're negotiating with them. You have to be very clear in uh, in any deals. But they're out of there? Uh, for the most part, I mean, they're, if you make a deal with them, they'll hold that deal. Absolutely. Okay, right, sounds good. But they may... You may try to trick you into a loophole, but yes. Do you know this hag's name by chance? I do not know her name. No. Just because there might be a multiple hags, you know. There's one hag, there's probably going to be another hag. 
Uh, usually they are they usually are at uh, Coven of Three. Okay. What's a naga? A naga is the snake-like uh, yeah, deformity creature. Um, actually, give me a for you. Give me an Arcana check, um, Erebus. It's a fourteen. Uh, you've you've heard of them a little bit uh, in the Underdark. Um, they're usually uh, very. Uh, they can be known to be uh, powerful uh, spellcasters. They're snakes uh, with usually uh, a torso of a, a female, usually female, uh, and that's why uh, they're they are known sometimes amongst the the drow priestesses um, are sometimes allies with them. I'll say to uh, is um, uh, uh, why I lie with the hag instead of the naga. Because uh, usually the naga, and you would kind of know this too because of your race, uh, they are just, uh, they're not to be trusted. They're evil. Uh, they're not to be trusted. Uh, they will literally stab you in the back when an opportunity arises. Uh, versus a hag, as a... Uh, as, um, your, your friend uh, commented here uh, that uh, if you make a deal with them, uh, they can they can be an ally. Okay. <clears throat> the Naga, you're not going to make an ally. We I'll look to Zaz as, as, we as I start to hand over the closet. Yeah, sure enough. All right, I'll hand it over to Ism. All right, he, he takes it and just tosses it down on the ground towards her. I was going to drop kick it and <laughs> do like a little field go into the pit. <laughs> like, go get it. <laughs> She's like, thank you, master. Thank you. Look at her boots. I'll nod my head to him and then I, I leave. All right. All right. We'll see you a little bit later. All right. Good luck. All right. So you guys head back to... Uh, Ah, uh, the group? Yep. Okay. I'll open the door, let her go through, and go through, and then I'll go. Oh, the gate? Okay. Yep, perfect. Okay, so you guys return, you guys see when the, the gate goes, the white cliff. Have you guys figured down, it out? And uh, those, those two uh, cross over, they're all, they're all like sitting on the floor with their backs against the What the, the hell? <laughs> Well, Elf, Elf's been watching Elf's the room to see if anything it. happens in the room. No, nope, nothing <laughs> happens in the room. Like, the runes didn't change. Welcome oh, back, did you figure it out? No, it seems like, yeah, that the room is basically... Are the runes themselves uh, familiar to, like, the any of the um, processes that we used for attuning or, uh, or the white... Uh, uh, make uh, a arcana check for me. I mean, you're kind of looking from afar, but at the doorway. But yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's a similarity. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Yeah. 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 Glyph, the the black glyph you went through the gate, and then this white one that you passed. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Those made sense. Made this sense. Is like, what the hell? This is just complete gibberish. Right. Hence yeah. the chaos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? All right. I will. Um, I'll step into the room ten feet and then return to the hallway and just wait a minute and see if anything happens. Okay, so you step in the room, just 10 feet in the room? Yeah, 10 feet in, come back real quick and see if there's some sort of trigger that I'm just not seeing based on arriving and entering, I should say. Okay, so you, you're, your plan is just to stand there for like a minute and see if something happens? No, no, step in. Uh, I s oh. Step in, come right back out. Just see if oh, okay. Uh, no, see if it's like a delayed zap. No, uh -uh. so you step in, step back on out, nothing happens. Yep. Yeah. All right, so I'll go solo unless someone really is eager to go with me. I'll go all the way across the room to the uh, to that door. Um, are we, Erebus, why don't we finish taking this short little rest here, okay? I, for one, would like to not be quite so singed before we go any further. Okay, that's fine. 
Okay, right, so you guys are going to take a short rest in the hallway here? Okay. Finish our short rest, those of us, you know, that are tired already. <laughs> Time for a nap. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, in the hallway here, I'll have to give that to you guys. Uh, right, like I said, Islam has a guard down for you guys, so there's no issues there. Um, so anything that you use that you can recover on a short rest is back. Do you want to use any hit dice, Dar? Yes, I do. I want to use some too. <laughs> All right, so let's start with Dar first. Well, I'm going to use a... My two excitors from my journey. All right. We'll see what we get there. Oh, that's nice. Um, and you don't bring it into your con. Yeah, you con each one of those? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, then that's 20 points back total. For All right, so that means you're just minus six. Yep. I will take that. I feel much better. Okay. All right, I'm arriving you at minus 15. Yep. So you're going to use a hit die? Um, uh, yeah. Okay. One. That's going to be nine back. I might as well use a second one. Okay, so you're going to use two. And six. So yeah, I'm exactly 15 back. So. Okay, so you're all better. Okay, so as you, are you going to stay with my six? Nope, I'm going to take my 1d10 and I get back nine. Gotcha. Because you have no gun. Exactly. <laughs> so you use the hit die? Yep. All right. Got it. All right, L, you're minus five. I don't think I used a kit on myself, did I? No, you did not use a kit. On anyone. So you use a healing kit? All right. All better. All right. Why didn't you pick up this in the first place and then you were going to and Air Abyss, you're minus eight. Yeah, um, I'll go to L for you, kid, if I haven't used it yet. <laughs> yeah, plenty, right, L? Yep. Uh, so it is 14 points. We can be down here for weeks. <laughs> so, <laughs> Air Abyss is all right. better. <laughs> yeah, it's a big map, guys. <laughs> all right, uh, I'm going to hold off on this. Because it's. Because right. it's this small does not mean it's and <laughs> it right. kit's not hurt at all. So it's like this times fifty billion. Mm -hmm. I'm fifty billion square feet. I may not be good at rolling, but I'm good at not getting hit. And for our audience that may be watching, that like Thorn, sorry, he's not with us tonight. He's up north, probably. The GDI in is not here today. A bunch of mud. Right now, I'm assuming they're not happy. Mm. He's gonna try uh, to join us with Discord, but I guess that didn't have to work out. Mm. All right, so short rest happens. Uh, uh, the warriors, the warriors of Gauld, also appreciate the rest. Um, <laughs> and uh, and so yeah, so what do you guys do? Hour goes by. Sorry. Can you remind me? I think we learned a little bit of information on that door. It wasn't locked, maybe? Uh, no, it's locked. It's not trapped. So okay, you discovered it wasn't trapped, and that's when you guys all of a sudden got surrounded by lightning just from uh, from the glyphs and just the glyphs, and it just surrounded like the whole <clears throat> entire room. Um, okay. Lightning, just uh, streaks of lightning were just shooting around. Um, and Almost in the sense of like with the Emperor and Darth Vader, and, you know, the lightning coming. So they that, didn't go off during that hour while they were resting at random times. Nope, not at know. all. Okay. Nope. Perfect. Perfect. So I'll go to Al and get uh, Tripala's blessing. Indeed. Cover your ass. <laughs> and, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hold my hand, everyone, this way. And, um, uh, I'm going to move quickly back to the door and try to open it. All right. Uh, go ahead and uh, uh, give me a uh, um, uh, uh, pick lock check here. Uh, natural 20 and a 4 on the Tribalist Bless. Nice. All right. Uh, so, yep, no problem. You uh, run over there with uh, your lock picks in hand. Go over there. Click, click. Door just opens up. Uh, you know, it's unlocked. Uh, nothing happens. What do you do? And uh, very quickly, what do I see? Uh, so, yeah, if you open the door, uh, the, there's stairs 
actually uh, going down about uh, uh, 40 feet and uh, seems to be entering this, and you even get this uh, aroma uh, up the stairs. Uh, you get this, uh, just this sweet scent nope. of nope. incense uh, that just kind of is hangs in the air. And you actually get some heat too. Uh, once you open this door, you feel just a, a slight, slight warmth coming from it. Uh, from what you can see down below, you see some like pillows, uh, some cushions that are laying about the floor. Uh, the room kind of has this uh, greenish yellow haze of, of color in, in the room. Um, but that's kind of what you see, you know, kind of opens yeah, up into a large room. That's totally sufficient. And is it still lit up everywhere on the walls? <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's it's not. Um, but you, the room is down below, so the hallway is uh, not lit up like this. Uh, it's dark. Do I have a dark hallway for once? It's not necessarily dark. There is some light generating from it, but it's more like a greenish yellow light uh, effect that's coming from the room. But I mean, if you go on the stairs, if you like just. Jump down the first, you know, maybe five foot of steps, you would be in darkness. Ten feet of steps. All right, so I'm going to at least just cross the threshold so I don't get shocked right away. Sure. All right. And then, I, <laughs> and then uh, I will I will mostly close the door so it's just cracked. And then I'm just going to wait. Uh, I'll actually, uh, round two, I'll send a message spell to Zaz and just say, hold on for a second. Come now? Come on, come on. All right. right, and I want to wait a minute and see if the shocking happens after I cross the room and open the door. And okay. Um, and I'll so go hide against the wall or whatever. So it doesn't even take a, a minute. Um, so after you kind of step through the door and you send that message to Zaz, hey, wait. Um, all of a sudden, once again, the room, the glyphs start lighting up. Um, and just, just all this lightning, this electrical force just fills the room again with all this lightning, and then it, uh, and then it dies down. Run! I, I run as soon as no, it me dies too. down. Me and dogs. Yeah, oh. no, it's time. Okay, all right. So hold on. So one at a time. So dog, you go bolting across. Yeah. As soon as too. that lightning's done, I run. I use dragons. <laughs> All right. Although he told me to stay, she told she messaged somebody else. I didn't hear shit. <laughs> All right. So Zar and Umbra go running across the room, uh, to right into the door. And, and, and Erebus, you see them running yeah. right at you. Yeah. yeah. Zar just charging, and Umbra right behind him <laughs> charging. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move to the ceiling then. Okay. Yeah. And. Uh, and once again, these uh, ceilings are like twenty feet up. Uh, so the nice. door, the doors, you know, your normal, you know, probably uh, five six feet. foot, five foot, six foot door. Oh, that's. Uh, cool. But you can climb up above. You have uh, definitely I'm space. I'm gonna climb. I'll pull my bow aim down the hallway and just wait for this uh, mess to happen. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So. Uh, my warhammer banging on my shield. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> I need something here so you guys can do this part here. Uh, I, I love those barbarians. They're like, ah! Oh. See, top of the stairs, they're right there. So, yeah, no. so I just wanted to get through the ropes. You have both ego busting in. Uh, and, uh, I'm like, oh. All right. So, Zazriel, you, uh... Why are you guys waiting here? Exactly. Oh, you go right on down, head on down. Uh, L, what are what are you doing? Um, Wait. Oh, and can you put Kit in Kit form? Uh, the cat. She's no longer oh, yes. cat. Kit cat. She's now Kit. <laughs> Sometimes you want to be a Kit Cat bar. Yeah, everybody wants to be a kid that far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're running on it. Wait, All right. and uh, I'm going to ask Kit, what do you uh, you do? You see the rest of the group uh, basically just boogie bolt across the, the bolt across the room here. Is L across the room? Yeah, L went right behind, basically. 
uh, Dar and Zaz, or Dar and uh, Umbra took off right away, and then Zaz and L basically followed in suit. Well, well Zaz yeah. did say but run. When he yelled run, and he was gone. <laughs> we were already gone before he said. Well, I okay, so yeah, and you heard Zaz say run. So do you go with them? I get the rest of the people up and run across. Okay, so move the people. I'm the last one across the room. Well, they're gonna stop. She's gonna stop say, them out. Watch them all. She <laughs> sees room. you guys basically cluttering yep. the door. Okay, and so Zaz, you go down, down the stairs. Yep. All right. So I'll tell you what you see here. Sleeping oh, no. beasts. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Why are you guys waiting here? <laughs> I go bang. You know, and I thought I was the barbarian. <laughs> Are they actually waiting? They're actually showing self control here. Well, I did. <laughs> Everybody else went past me. Yeah, actually, me and um. Dara I just wanted to back. get across the electricity. I wasn't trying to fight anything. Me and Dara are actually uh, in the back. Everyone else is up front. But Zaz just went into the or is on her way into the room. She's moving. No, no. I hate yeah, Zaz. Oh, Zaz is moving. Yeah, Zaz is like, why are you all waiting? And she's on her way. Right, I, stick, I stick with Zaz along the ceiling. Yeah, hold on. This is basically, you know, yeah. Zaz went. Zaz just went further down than everybody. Else. Wait till after I'll Zaz stay. gets lit up here. So, yeah. I'll stay at five or ten feet below so, so I can keep her inside. I haven't entered the room yet. Yeah. No, well, well, I have you. Do you just go on the hall with the stairs, right, with the rest of the group, or did you stay with them? The Men at arms. The men at arms. The knights of gold. Didn't I told them to go across with me? Uh, she's, um, uh, Shalanda said, let's just wait. There's too many people <laughs> and barreling and holding at the stairs right now. So she's okay, basically. Then I'll, then I'll cross. They'll stay in the doorway. Okay. So you're right there. All, All right, right. Perfect. Uh, so, uh, Zazriel, uh, you see here, uh, once again, uh, once you get to run down here, and all of you done, you get this sweet scent of, of incense just in the air, and there's this yellowish, greenish kind of haze uh, lit up, lit this room up here. Uh, the walls are covered with silk tapestries and green and yellow. Uh, the floors are spread with the variety color of different uh, cushions. Um, to the south, you see two sets of sliding double wooden doors that are set in the walls. Uh, you see this beautiful uh, female laying down uh, on, on a pillows uh, looking at you. Um, and then across on each side of her, uh, there are uh, six There are uh, six uh, men in uh, black chain mail. Uh, they have long swords and shield, and they're uh, kind of right at attention, uh, just standing like guard. Um, and do this. She, uh, she she says, "Well, hello there. Hi there. Don't. Who are who are you? Oh, I'm nobody." <laughs> well, you must be somebody if you're here. Uh, yeah, I'm big old Zaz. Well, hi, Zaz. My name is Francesca. Oh, hi, Francesca. So, what, so are, what are what are what are what are you and your troop doing here? You're not you're not Knights of Koth, are you? Oh no. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we we like. I'd have to do what I did to them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> great. We were just hoping to get to the Temple of Chaos. Well, I mean, this is technically the part of the Temple of Chaos, I guess you would call it. But, I mean, I don't really call it that. But that's the dang, you know, these Knights of Koth. They named it that. This is really maybe my prison of chaos. Nice. So do you run this room or do you run all of the Temple of Chaos? I'm really a prisoner here. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's a stupid lich that runs this place at the end of prison. Oh, we plan to kill the lich. Oh, that oh, is yeah. wonderful. That's great news. <laughs> well, how can I help you? Uh, 
<laughs> well, we have a friend who got captured by another friend who got turned into a demon. And then the demon came here. And now we're trying to get to the forest of slaughter. But we have no idea how to get there. Well, you need to and you need a black gate. Yeah. Well, there's actually she goes down here. See behind that this thrall here. She says move. <laughs> there's one guy. No, they like that. Not that. Him. Yeah. He moves out of the way. This toy. Yeah, perfect. Uh, she says down this hallway is actually uh, a uh, there's a black gate there that you could use. Uh, and she said, be careful, it is, is, uh, it's a, um, a gate, it's a chaos gate, a rift, of the different planes of elementals. Oh. But in there, in that, that chamber, there is a black gate that leads out. You just have to be careful when you're in the room. Don't go into the rift. So... Knowledge, intelligence, or wisdom. Do I know that we have two keys to? to yeah, you know keys that we have keys. to activate it. Yes. Right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, thank you. Uh, that was such great information. Uh, can we pass? Absolutely. Uh, if you're an enemy uh, of him, you're uh, you're a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, one of you guys want to go tell the stupid knights of gold to come down here and not attack this beautiful lady. I'm on it. <laughs> and uh, and she says, if you don't mind, I'll just, because there's a bunch of you, I see. Uh, I'm just going to move back with my thralls here and let you you go right ahead. Yeah, no worries. All right. So uh, she will move back uh, into the corner of the room. Or basically, she'll just actually flop down on the next set of pillows there. Uh, and then she'll move all the guys behind her. We can hear this? Yeah, you hear the whole conversation. Absolutely. Look, we talked before, guys. Oh. <laughs> no, this you is shocking. Before. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. You. Oh, that, this is really shocking because it's Ezreal talking. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'll, uh, I'll go down to Saz yet. You want me to go out and check the door? Uh, I mean, I think she, I think she's honest. I think we should be fine. Are you feeling all right? What did you do with Zaz? <laughs> where did where did our Zaz go? Yeah, and you don't and you don't uh, uh you don't see a door there. Um, uh, but give me a perception check, Erebus, as you came down and just looking. All right, uh, twenty three. Okay, yeah. So you see the outlines of, like of a secret door. Um, there and also you see another one across the room uh, behind her and her men. Uh, I'll uh, I'll whisper to Zaz. Uh, ask her about the door behind her. Uh, <coughs> it, it's just door behind you. What's that for? Uh, it's a furnace. There's a nasty fire elemental that lives in the room. Oh, that's why it's kind of warm in here. She says, and you guys notice. I mean, there is, there's warmth. Not that bad where you're at on the stairs right now, but you feel a little heat. Um, but yeah, she says there's. It'd be nice to kill a fire elemental, but <laughs> I'm betting it's her friendish kind of. <laughs> she goes, he's not my friend, but he, uh, uh, he's, he, I don't know, he kind of somehow warm. is used as a furnace to keep this place at a certain temperature, and. Uh, if you if you kill them, the the, uh, the knights of Hoth would probably be averted. Um, yeah, we're good. Come on. Right, Ar Aramis will go to the secret door to the right and attempt to open it. Yeah, you won't have any issues. I mean, you go over there and uh, you you can see it just pushes inwards. And I'll uh, look. Uh, I'll open it and look up there. I'm going with okay. It. Yeah. So it's a five foot wide hallway. Uh, that goes about uh, 25 feet and is a dead end. Um, give me another perception check. Uh, that is a 22. Okay, perfect. And yep, it's another secret door. Um, looks very similar. All you have to do is uh, um, 
uh, pull this one towards you. All right. I'm All right, I'll uh, check for traps along the hallway and go to the door and check for traps again. And then, uh, by the way, Dar's blessing on you. I'll take it. All right, so go ahead and just give me a, a detect you know, perception for the trap. Oh, yeah, that's incredible. Um, all right, uh, 29. Yeah, so you're highly confident there's no uh, traps here along the floor, or the ceiling, or anything like that. And the ceiling here is about 10 feet high versus where you've been dealing with a lot of hallways where there's 20 feet, but this one's about 10 is, feet. Is it dark finally? Uh, yes, this is dark. Oh, I think we should rest here from now on. <laughs> Hey, Aramis. <laughs> Dar's blessing again on you, just in case you need it. All right, thank you. Dar's blessing. We already have two allies in this place. All right, I'll, I'll crack that door and just uh, and peek and see what I can see. Do so I can see Okay, uh, so this, you thought the white light was messing with you. When you open this, this flash of light, uh, it almost blinds you. Uh, in a sense, adjusting from uh, this dark now to this bright flashing uh, Whoa. light. Um, so, how did Zaz get ahead of us? <laughs> this, is, uh, this is this enormous hall, uh, set with rows and pillars carved in the shapes of elemental and demonic creatures. A great rift has been torn in the center of this of this room, in the stone floor here. And through it, a stream of chaotic energy blasts upward, uh, f uh, flowing into a similar rift that vaults to this 40 feet high ceiling. Uh, tendrils of this splits off uh, um, just to the different columns of energy, lashing out to strike the nearest pillars as you're watching this um, these just different, you know, you have water and fire, um, you have earth, you have, um, um, there's like gusts of wind, um, lightning strikes, uh, you just see all this uh, variety of colors just uh, coming in through, uh, through this room here, and it's, uh, in, in, the, in the center of the room. Um, give me a, another perception check. All right, and then uh, are the uh, those those bolts of energy going to the pillars? Are they on a uh, like do they go directly to it so you can avoid them? What's the sort of planning or? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not so good. Seventeen. Uh, seventeen. No, it's good enough though. So across this room, uh, this this yeah, huge room, uh, there is a set of double doors. Um, that but it's in center line of this rift, uh, and the rift ends probably about 10 feet in front of this door. Um, and then off in the uh, uh, southwest corner of this room, you see this black, um, uh, basically uh, up to the ceiling, uh, this black forming mist, uh, which you, you assume is probably a black gate. Uh, versus since the white ones, you know, that you, you've witnessed. And so, and that's on this side of the rift, or that's on the other side? Of the it's road? actually on the other side of the rift. There is about, um, there's about 20 feet, about 15, yeah, about 15, let's be honest. Uh, maybe 20, 15 to 20 feet uh, in the northern part of the room where you could run um, past the rift um, and then go down towards um, uh, towards the uh, uh, the black gate. So the rift goes up from ceiling to floor, but it doesn't go the full width of the room. Uh, so it doesn't, in a sense, the rift is just purely open up on the floor. It's large. It goes. So this room here, I'll tell you how how big it is. It's huge. Um, So you think the room's probably about 100 by 100 feet. And uh, there's um, four sets of columns, um, and four by four, and they're all probably about 15 feet apart from each other. In the center set of columns 
is where this rift is open. Um, and I said, like I said, you have probably about 15, 20 feet to the north uh, of where you're at um, to go around this rift, to not go through it or by it. Um, we have some space there to make it to uh, to the Black Gate. Hey, Erebus. Wait here for a minute. What was that? Can I hear him? We're not near each other at all, are we? Uh, I've been following behind you, covering your back, so nobody came up and snuck oh, behind right. you. All right, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll close the door and say hey. Why don't you wait here and let me try to scoot around there and see if it's if we get zapped by anything or not, like the last room. I could probably handle the damage better than you. Right, you'll always let someone else do <laughs> crazy. Okay, I'll open the door for you. So I'll go up along where that area is that's clear and try to get past and over by the gate and see if it's okay to make it past there. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So, uh, what's your movement? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. And are you in a run? I'm on a double. Double. So, yeah, All right. Drop. So I use double. Yep. Yeah, so, um, so yeah. So you'll get seventy feet. Let me just see how far you can get clearing this here. So yeah. So you make it around a couple of the pillars. Start heading towards, uh, towards. Uh, um, now I'm staying sky towards... aware, okay, as huh? they say in meteorological terms. <laughs> I am sky aware. I am watching. If anything starts to zap, I'm not trying to dodge out of the way if I can. All right. Well, if you're going to get zapped. Using my danger sense. Uh, <laughs> you're still going to get zapped. I kind of figured. And because they, it, this area's got all this elemental activity, so uh, this uh, this black uh, uh, this uh, this black ray comes right at you and so hits you uh, just from the from the chasm itself, from the rift in the floor. Uh, this black ray just comes and just slashes at you. you have any chance to dodge it with any no. kind of save? No nope. save at all. No save. All right. Nope. <laughs> and uh, and it starts burning on you. It's acid. Oh, and, you should have sent me. And <laughs> as a as a reaction to that, uh, my I cast absorb elements, which. Absorb Elements is a personal spell, and it's a reaction, and it captures some of the incoming energy, lessening its effects. I have resistance to the triggering damage until the start of my next turn. Okay. So perfect. So so you'll take, instead, you'll just take two points of acid damage. Then. Two points of acid damage. Yeah. All right. Oh, that stings a little. It's a, that was acid. <laughs> <laughs> Minus eight. Yes. yes. I don't know if it's going to be acid next time. They did say this was elemental, so it might be a different thing every time. But that one stung a little. And and you think another double movement could get you to okay. the 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 um? Now I'm gonna the, take it. The gate. No, I'll take it. And get away. But just to be in front. And I'm assuming you're just stopping in front of the gate. Yep. I'm not going in. All right. I, ain't got, I don't have a key. All right. All right, so uh, this will be at the end of your turn. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> Do you know. have another reaction to do this, or you have only the one spell? One reaction per turn. So yeah, I can do it again. Yeah, so this is the second turn, so if it happens, I'll do it again. It will. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I've asked you. All right, so this time uh, you get uh, blasted by. I'll make sure that's correct. Yep, fire. Uh, <laughs> So fire hits you this time. Yeah, I was right. It's a different element this time. Uh, and so, yeah, you only take, uh, <laughs> after the half, you only take three points. So I have you minus 11. Yep. All right. So let's do this just for my own safekeeping. <clears throat> Oh, 
And I can probably drill a hole. Let's put there's Dar. Well, Dar, you're right here. <laughs> Wait, yes. There's the that gate. Far? All right. Um, I could probably room. put out the rest of it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm do you have to go super far around? Correct? Yep. Let me just put it under. So that would be 10 feet behind you. You're not Look at that. Do this for space, and now I'm going to pull my steam farther going. So. Is that the middle? Wait. Is that supposed to be up here? No. I'm just doing this for purely space. Oh, okay. Wait. I'm just wondering. Why don't you just cut the Buddy, way? don't worry about it. Okay. It's more just for kind of... Just don't go towards the crack. Okay. <laughs> I already been warned not to go towards the crack. Yeah. So don't people. look at it. <laughs> don't think about it. Not in the front <laughs> fence. Fly right through the crack. That's what you're saying? I should fly there? Yep. Yeah. Fly above it. Fly like a Okay, time to go. All right, so you're you're across there, um, waiting for everybody. Yep. <laughs> so you're gonna get zapped. It don't hurt too bad. <laughs> you don't know what you're gonna get zapped by. Um, so, so did he get to the, wherever? Did he get near the mist? Uh, yeah. So he's right, right, right next to it. I no. made it. Two, two, two runs. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Two runs for your stubby legs. And so I'm going to watch for a few seconds. Uh, does he get, still get zapped in that position? So, yeah, so you watch another. Uh, yeah, you're going to get zapped again. Uh, as you're standing there waiting, you're going to do another re reaction. You have another spell. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to take it. All right. I'm going to be a man. You're going to be a bear. All right, dwarf. No, you're going to be a bear. No, I'm not gonna be a very active, although I probably should. Be All right, so another seven. burst of fire hits you for four points of damage. All right. oh. Minus fifteen. All right, I'll uh, I'll send the best. He's like hundred feet away or something, right? Uh, yeah, he's basically yeah, about hundred feet. Yeah, I'll send the best and... to him. Uh, this isn't gonna work. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, are you gonna just stay there? I'll be back. <laughs> Yeah, what the right. hell does that mean? <laughs> and I close the no, I'll leave the door open. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go run back. I mean Yeah. Yeah, so probably. Gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, you guys can that out I'm gonna go talk to Zach. Alright, All right. when am I getting hit with the next two times? Alright, so the next two times. Do I get hit two times or do I get yeah. hit once nope, and then get once. in the doorway? No, nope, once ah, and twice. All right. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Wow, Erebus is literally being his test subject. All right, so both times. Yeah, yeah, so one time you run, this black streak hits you again of acid, and then the next thing is a shot of cold, of this ice hits you. Ice, ice, man. Man, that's colder than Zaz's panties. <laughs> ice, ice, man. All right, so we'll see how much you take here, total. You take eight billion points. It, it, the cold was actually cold. So another eight points. So I mean, oh. 23. I don't know that one. Yep. 
Alright. Well, he comes back looking quite messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, he's got acid burns on him, a little frost. Frost on my beard. Frost on his beard. Again, they're a little char mark from the fire. <laughs> he comes back. So you go back to Zaz, he's down just at the. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you can use it, but it's gonna you're gonna it's gonna be quick. We're gonna have to go quick to do this. <laughs> yeah, like, uh Francesca goes, Where are you guys from? Was it because you guys are all waiting? <laughs> so I'll get back to Saz. <laughs> Saz. Uh, Saz, there's uh there's no way those humans are gonna make it through. Well, it's it's their choice. We'll ask them. We yeah, won't tell we won't tell them about the zapping. Hey, um, there's something dangerous down here. My friend doesn't think you're gonna make it, but Zaz, it's Zaz, your it's just... your only way out. So, um, hold it, wait. <laughs> I'm... She says, "Well, if you open, if you guys open the portal, then we could just run through it, right? Make our best run." Sure, we'll let yeah. you know when it's open. Yeah. No. Is there choice? This, this... Erebus. <laughs> I go up to Zaz in the corner. We don't want them with us anyway. You're very true. Well, we gotta put them to safety. We gotta get them to safety. Let's really? negotiate with Francesca or Ism to wait there until we come back for them. Yeah. So blood sucking vampire or succubus. <laughs> ah. Or missiles being shot at them. <laughs> I think they're gonna choose the magic beast. Dar, 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 go look at how messed up Dar is. Yeah, how long was he standing there? For like. Did you see those humans? Did you see those humans get knocked down they, by they the fought him rock. rock? Yeah, they fought him. They survived. <laughs> if we open the portal first, they're gonna make it. Uh, like 50 50, half and half will make it. So, I mean, it's good, good odds. No, all well, at least nine. We gotta get through. We can always rest after we get through. Yeah, there, it's either stay down here in this terrible dungeon or come with us. So, my understanding is that we, you and I, need to cross this mm -hmm. and use both of the keys mm -hmm. to get it to subside its portion, allowing us through that. Mm -hmm. And then they all the wagon train people run through. Well, we're well. I'm holding the uh, easy peasy. Yeah. El, do you have any? El, you have any spells that protect against elements? Not for a group. Do you? Uh, do I want me to hold the key? Me. That'd be nice of you, but we gotta fly over. That and it takes. Why? Can fly over the faster. Okay, as long as we so just the, take the energy is bursting from from floor to ceiling. Don't don't fly over. Yeah, don't fly over. Fly around. Damn it. Yeah, I was going to take you the same to fly as it would be right. That doesn't matter. I think I actually run faster than you. <clears throat> yeah, he does. <laughs> nice gesture, but now you've already been sacked enough. Okay. So are you guys okay with that? Lady? Uh, yeah, she says... Yeah, um, you don't want to be stuck down here with a succubus or a vampire, right? Yeah. That's your other option. All right, cool. She says, I'll be fine. And now, if need be, I, if any of my men fall, I'll try to pick one or two. Oh, more. such a great person. I won't be doing that. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll help you if any of them fall. Oh, I'll look at you. Maybe you're the reality. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're taking a step up. She says, <laughs> I'll go last, if that's okay. That's your oh, choice. I think, well, I think, I think all of the stronger people should go last so we can grab somebody and yeah. carry them across if they fall. Yeah, you're more important to get there anyway, so you should go first. Let's go, guys. So I want to go last, she says, not first. Don't be a knight of God right now. We need to get you through. You go You go after your people. And we go after you. Okay. So first, you two go open the gate. Then her people are going to run through. She's going to run behind them. And then we're going to And then all of our people are going to run through. And I and, I and uh, the uh, Holy One here are going to pick up any people that drop in the process. Sounds good to me. All right, well, let's go. All right, let's go on this adventure. Huh? We both do a roar. <laughs> All right, so let me uh, kind of get some that. sense of the order. I'm drink some beer. So me, oh, uh, you, you. So both of race. you are going together. Is that now? Yep. No, <coughs> we have it open. You. <coughs> so the next one. 
next uh, seven henchmen will be coming. All right. So then, then seven hench. And then well, no, first, warriors. first, Erebus and Kit. We all take and, three shots, technically. Uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be last after uh, Shalandra. All right, he'll be going after Shalandra. Kit will go in front of them. Wait. Uh, okay. So Zazel, Kit's gonna be going right. Yep. I'll say Kit and Thorn. Thorn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Thorn will go with Kit. And then everybody else will go, and then Salandra, and Erebus, and then Dar, and then Holy Man. Dar and Holy Man. Erebus. Or Erebus is going last? No, Erebus is going behind Salandra. Okay. Solandra. And then Dar. Dar and. So I'll be the last one behind everybody else. Oh, then I'm in front. Yeah, you're in front of Solandra, me. Erebus. I, Umbra. I'm just and with Dar at the final. At the very end. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. All right. Um, so I'm going to kind of speed through this a little bit for you guys. Um, and I'll figure out damage more or less for them to make sure to see if I kill any of them. Um, <laughs> and then I'll figure out, figure out damage here after that for everybody else. Um, and what's your movement, Zaz? And 30. 30. So everybody's 30 except for Dar. 35. 35. I'll, I'll be able to go 90 with a dash. Okay. So, I'm at 40. All right. So you're at 40, Kit. All right. So you actually, yeah, you could basically clear it in two rounds. Clear it. Yeah, in a round and get through. You'll be the first one through. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. All right, so let's see what that's what you can clear the whole room and go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if Flenzel is here, he's the upgrade. That's good. Mm -hmm. Flenzel. Show us that too. This trap is meant to zoom. 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 Ah! And I've had like this wolf totem. <clears throat> Flenzel is a beast. Lip. <laughs> you know who is strong. Powerful. Not. Mm -hmm. Well, he would. He fought in a lot of battles. So. His face burned. A lot. All right. Uh, so, um, yeah. So when you guys go in there, um, I just can kind of beam in the sense of what's happening as you guys are taking damage a little bit. Um, you know, you guys first. Uh, <laughs> Uh, lightning strikes at you guys, um, and then uh, um, and then acid hits you guys. <laughs> He's like, I did that. Me, me and Ki me and Kid are just like yes. <clears throat> That's true. Yeah, this and then uh, this is nothing. He wishes you guys. This is us. <laughs> and, yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then you uh, guys uh, get hit by uh, um, this uh, just force. Of thunder basically hitting your, your your chest. I do need you guys to make an arcana check at advantage. Whoever wants to do this to open up the black cave. <laughs> oh, good. Fifteen. All right. So yeah. So you open it. It goes down. Uh, you two can step in it, but you need to make sure everybody crosses through. Yep. Okay, so we can step in it and not take damage from the... Oh, you did that. Shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, but, uh, but you step on it. Run! It goes down, yep. And so the guys are running right behind you. Um, they they all manage to get through uh, with none of them falling. Uh, they're messed up by the end. You look terrible. You look um, worse. <laughs> You look like your, your <coughs> eyes are all yeah. And so everybody's going to make it just different, you know, there's acid and cold fire. and fire and lightning, thunder, crackling, just coming across all these colors. Are, but observing this, it's not, it's never like necrotic energy. No, no, no. It's definitely, definitely elemental. All elemental. Um, it Absolutely. seems all the elemental planes um, take it back. that are coming and hitting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and and there's parts where they don't hit you at all. I mean, in the sense, something else just hits another pillar. I mean, it's just it's chaos. A it's a light show. So yeah, it's a light show. It's Probably gives Erebus a headache, um, even as fast as Erebus goes across at the end uh, to get through. Erebus uh, is running into pillars. 
This is uh, he, he has a headache coming through. Uh, so, and then so everybody gets through. And uh, on the other side here, that electricity was more prickly than Zaz's chin hairs. <laughs> Yeah, he's not a part. <clears throat> you fail every vicious mockery. But I succeeded on every vicious <laughs> mockery. Sometimes I did a better job <sighs> than that vicious mockery. Sorry, I'm just trying to find where you guys are here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you're in this uh, uh, this large um, this, this large black stone room, um, uh, and here. Uh, there is light, uh, but not light coming in, but it's from the outside, um, and it's kind of cloudy um, from what you see here, um, and it's actually a gate, a porticulus that's down, um, and in here there seems to be there's several um, of these uh, black portals as you come through one. Okay. Um, there's others next to it, several okay. of them um, that are all next to it, all <clears throat> in this line as you all step through against one of the walls as you come through. There's more blackboards. Oh, great. All, all active. Okay. The only one that's not active is the one you guys. But as soon as you guys step out, then it goes back on up. Um, We're in the dead house. <laughs> yes. Um, Long rest. <laughs> from where, from uh, looking out this porticulus and looking down, um, there's a road that seems to wind down this mountain. Like you're on top of a mountain, um, <coughs> not even on top, but midway, <coughs> somewhere on a mountain side, and uh, you see a, a road, and it, uh, uh, you see off in the distance, probably you know who knows how many miles. Um, uh, maybe give me a survival check, Zazzy. What was this? Uh, this is an individual. Natural twenty. Okay, perfect. Um, uh, you see some smoke and some <clears throat> lights, uh, just because it's 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 dusk now. You think it's probably a village, probably about thirty miles, um, and right here where you're thinking is probably to the southwest. Like if, if this gate opens up. About thirty miles to the southwest here. Do you want to contact the dwarf? Um, also, yes. Yeah, so that's another thing here too. Also, along on the wall, there's, um, stones. there's these stones here. Uh, they're uh, glowing glyphs um, that kind of form a circle on the wall, and about three feet off the floor. Um, yeah. Can you some stones? <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, that's about it. I walk up to him. So we contact. Right, check for check for tracks uh, outside of the other four black uh, portals. See if there's anything. Uh yeah, you can give me a roll. All right, can we do this with Sass? Uh, sure, absolutely. All right, survival it up, Sass. Nineteen. Yeah, so you don't think these uh, don't have been used. Um, in fact, you probably can't even tell. Um, there's dust, uh, you know, a little bit dirt from the outside. There's no tracks in here other than, but you guys have kind <laughs> of stumbled in here. Uh, no, there isn't. So there's no tracks outside, like somebody's been walking up this path or anything like that. Okay. So it seems like no one is... Uh, use this um, place in ages. You know. Oh, yeah, the body dude. Did yeah. the body dude make it? Yes, yes. <laughs> we just gotta 
whole freaking gigantic entourage. <laughs> yeah, they're I mean they're all messed up. They're barely. How alive. many black kids? Uh, there are. Um, let me just see here. I want to say there's nine. Is there a path that seems to lead from here down to that village? Uh, yeah, it seems like probably it's hard to see because it's probably like thirty miles off. But there's a path that leads down the mountain. You could not tell if the path goes all uh, the way there. So. What did you name? Pancetta? No. No. Uh, I, lady warrior and all your entourage. There's yes. a village down there. You're free. You're welcome to go down there and rest and recuperate. Your men look like they could use it after that ordeal. I think we'll rest here first. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that that. Yeah. But when you're done resting here, you should probably head to that village. Uh, I don't know how we can lift this up. I mean, maybe your lift what up? friend here. For the first, a well, dark elven figure it out. I don't know that that uh, village, is village exists, but sure. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, they said that they wanted to contact the dwarf lady. <laughs> I think yeah, that, are, we, are we supposed to call? Yes, we're supposed, to, we're supposed to attempt to reach her. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that, that dial is a little big to... Seven. <clears throat> Seven. Oh, I'm trying to, you know, dial on a rotary phone. <laughs> now, are you gonna, are you gonna do that? Yeah, I'll make contact for those younger people that okay. don't know what a rotary phone uh, is. Give me an arcana check. I know what a rotary phone is. I think I know what a rotary phone is. Oh, that's not that young. I watched a video of people yeah, your age yeah, trying yeah. to use a rotary phone when it rang and had no clue how to pick it up even. Mm-hmm. Didn't know what to do with it. Exactly. All right. <laughs> they started pushing buttons and saying hello. That's sad. <clears throat> oh, that's not very high. So Arcana? Mm-hmm. Arcana of only nine. <laughs> uh, so uh, you try to reach out, but you uh, uh, you you think that you uh, you didn't quite uh, you didn't get that seven. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, does somebody else with Arcana want to try? Can I just try it? I have Arcana. Huh? Guard goes. I have Arcana. Does I get advantage? Huh? No, you do not get advantage. Can I just try? Just hold on, buddy. It's gonna be a seventeen. All right, so yeah, so uh, you manage to uh, uh, yeah, push the glyph and move the glyph around to another one in a different direction, another one in a different direction, and uh, you hear, is this, who is this? Uh, it's it's Zaz, damn it. <laughs> so are you, have you, where are you? Uh, we're in the gatehouse, like you told us to be. Oh, great. She says, that's perfect. So y'all... What, did you think we weren't going to do it? Jesus. Doubters. Dwarfs. I tell you. <laughs> did, did all you, your party make it there, then? Yeah, and we have a couple plus ones, too. Oh, you you found you found people? Yeah. What did you find? Salandra. Oh, that is great yeah, news. Seven other knights of gold. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah. That is that is wonderful news. Glad to think so. Now, on the better business, how do we get them out of here? Uh, I can I can open the the porticles and they can uh, walk down the the, uh, the mountain. That's safe. It's it's safe. Okay. There's a village down like thirty miles. Do you know anything about that? Yes, I do. Uh, there is a it's a it's a um, a farming village down there. They'll be safe to go there. And then from there, I can um, meet them and teleport them away. Okay, wonderful. See, I was right. All right, on to different news, better, much better news. We need to get to the forest of slaughter. Okay. Um, she says uh, that will be the third one, she says, uh, from the eastern wall. Okay. Yeah. So, and yeah, so you go up third east, okay, that's the one, okay. <laughs> now, it's how do you get to the Predator Pools? Uh, she says that one will be the fifth one from the Eastern Wall. We all hear this. 
this or is this in his head? Uh, no, this is out loud. You guys can all hear this. It's not in your in the head. It's... Zaz, get the, get get the get all nine, please. All right. Uh, uh, what about the temples of extraction? Okay, so yeah, let me just go ahead and go down. Next. What is that? Called? What was that other one? The pools of predator pools. The predator pools. Predator pools were what? Five. Fifth from the east wall. Yeah. Uh, so she will say, uh, um, uh, two is the abyssal prison. That's the one you guys came from. What's number one? Uh, she goes, one is the blood pens. Uh, she says, four is the, um, master's domain. Blood pens. Ooh. That's our next question. <laughs> Six is the Far Realm Chris. Far Realm what? Chris. S sorry, Sis. Sorry. Sis. Uh, seven is the Ooze Grottoes. What was that? The Ooze Grottoes. Seven. 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 And not, or eight is the Gollum Laboratories. Sorry, so there's eight. Gollum's above the bathroom? Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Bye. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's way. <laughs> Can you open the floor, please? Yes. All making us good. Uh, Shalanda says, talks. wait until you do that. Let, let, let us heal up. We're going to rest in here, and then I'll. And we, we might and we're going to rest as well. <sighs> Sorry, we're taking a nap. Right. How many naps are we going to take we're, here? We're damaged. We <laughs> this is the first yeah, time I've heard. Kind of so you guys are oh, really that's, hurt. That's I just cool. haven't rolled all that damage. But remember, yes, you guys are actually hurt from yeah, all course. the different elements um, of damage. So I haven't added that on there yet. All right. We might as well long rest because yeah. nobody's been here. So we take yeah. a long rest. That's my point. All right. Yeah. It's not like anybody in this place is going to I'm going to examine the portcullis and see if I can figure out if it's uh, operating, if I can trigger it from here. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a, uh, uh, this one, give me a search. Don't blow okay. it up. Then, uh, um, did you give us what number nine was? Uh, there isn't nine. I'm sorry. I say. There's a, a, uh, if he's over there looking at that portcullis thingy, is that made out of stone? Huh? No, it's made out of iron. Oh, okay. I'll get Charbella's blessing before I look. What about Ursula's oh, yeah. blessing? And I'm, I'm going to yep. examine it with with him. Okay. And, and see if I can assist. Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, so what you get from it, uh, yeah, there's no... There's no levers. There's doesn't seem even physically probably that you could open this up. It seems like this has to be open magic or magical portal. Yeah, what else are portals? They're always magic. And our technology has not reached that everywhere. Yeah, and she'll even say only I can open the portal is she'll tell you that so she can open it from where she's at what do you um she also says if you want she can help one of you instruct one of you if you wish to and you're going to have to one of your glyphs you're going to have to attune for the the forest all right, well, let's try it with me. Okay, so I had advantage Arcana. She instructs you how to kind of do this. And I'm like crazy about it. Okay, and so look. I will need your guidance to make sure we find our way in this place of complete randomness. Dark blessings upon you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. So. 21. Okay, yeah, so you perfectly get the, the, once again, the diet, you know, the movements and everything, and 
Uh, yeah. And so now it's attuned to the forest slaughter. Uh, so the forest slaughter. And yeah. she goes, once you're there, it takes, it takes a few moments, but then you'll get, you know, an, where you, an idea of where you're actually at in the forest. Okay. Um, she will say there are a few portals, black portals in the forest. I don't know, once we open this up, I don't know where in the, in the forest a lot of you're going to, but it's going to hope that will bring you to one of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. What can we find there? What are we, we going to go up against in the forest to slaughter? A Giant lot. monkeys or something? Possibly. Oh my goodness. She goes, monsters. I have no idea what's going to be there. Right. And probably a lot of monsters. I don't know in the sense if you will this find any the allies team. there. You may, um, but I don't know. Um, so, you, so are, are they, is it going to be dark there at least? Uh, she goes, uh, actually it goes with the cycle. So if it's dark here, it will be dark there. If it's light here, like in, in Hearthron, then it will be light there. So it actually has a cycle of day and night there in the forest. Okay. So is it is it dark now? You said it was, right? Uh, yeah. She says, yeah, right now, because yeah, it's as you guys are. We're resting for eight hours, so it'll be light in the morning. We we might be resting for twenty four hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's this when you guys arrive here, like the sun is setting. We have people that can't see in the dark, you know. We no, no, we don't. Oh, we don't. Oh, we don't. Oh, all right. Yeah, they got the weird goggles on. Oh, that's right. She yeah. also will say there's probably some white glyphs there as well, but with your key, you'll be able to go by any of those. Um, but yes, and you'll want to find possible other keys or again. And others may be looking for keys. And if you find some and you can negotiate, um, Who's made the find out like that one. Eh, not chatter. We so talked way too I much. I make sure that the, <laughs> the key is tucked away. <laughs> All right, we've done way too much talking. My head's gonna explode. Can we freaking nap? I avoided combat with the succubus. <laughs> now I need to cold kill some oh, things in the, in the slaughterhouse. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you guys then just go ahead and uh, take a rest it up. Rest. And so then is your plan to like leave at uh, maybe uh, what, four in the morning or are you guys going to Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Wonderful time. <laughs> sure. And uh, I'll make it's, sure. It's a little late, but. I'll check on the. Uh... <laughs> The humans and the elf and make sure that they're healing fine during that rest uh, period that we're taking time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you guys need to do some long, spells or whatever, how long have you been here? Um, Sharlanda Sh says she's been here, um, since, since the war, she's been captured for about six months. Oh, no sad. Um, these guys, oh. a variety of them, have been here a lot less. Um, and uh, just can, they, they've been brought here by and enslaved by Knights of Koth. Um, yes, I would go in the pit and fight whatever and survive and. Uh, and then I would go back to, a, they would send me back to a prison, basically a dark cell, okay. until my neck, I'd heal up and then maybe go on to another fight. And it always was a variety of different beasts. Do you know what happened with, uh, what happened with Kelsey? Uh, we were separated in the, in the, uh, in the battle. And I haven't just heard nothing of him since or heard anything of him. Is Syriana worried that perhaps he would be you know, swayed back to being a nice thought or some other fate? I do know some have been, absolutely. Um, that some of us had broke, broke from Koth 
um, some of them, you know, return, some out of just in the sense of survival. They've mm -hmm. sworn allegiance to Ka, um, just out of, mm -hmm. out of survival. And I've had to kill a couple of those, you know, in the, in, in the pit um, myself. Um, they could be experimenting them on, on them or something. Um, they could be torturing them and trying to twist his mind and trying to turn him back to Ka. Um, they didn't try that with me. But I'm more of a warrior than Attention. he was. So. And what was his experience then if he wasn't much of a warrior? Uh, he was more of a mage. Ooh. See anybody throwing out? Well, oh, good to know what to worry about if we run across him and he has changed sides or. Yes. Now you'll run through, you'll, I'm sure you will, before you know it, we'll run across. Some of these wizards of Kaa, or at least the Kaa. I'm just not sure where. We don't want to kill the ones that actually have been become your friends, but yeah. Yeah, well, there are yeah, warriors, you have to go to wizards this. of Kaa. We're more than happy to eliminate them. But trace a powerful one. That's great. Well, good luck, she says. <coughs> yeah. Awesome. Don't need luck. And so, your experience, you. You've been from prisons to the arena? Yeah, I back. just back and forth. And nothing of note to... Have you seen what's in the forest? Have you been to the forest? I've never... My, my adventures here have been to the pit, back to a prison cell, which is a pit, and I would just be um, teleported. Oh, okay. Back and forth. Like, I would appear... In the, in the pit, fighting, and other things would appear in the pit, we would fight, and whoever survives gets to go back to their cell and rest up until they want you to fight again. And that's what I've been doing for six months. Sounds like fun. <laughs> I'd do it. Sir. Sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah those beaton stuff. Yeah. When she opens that gate, let's see if we can keep it jammed open. <laughs> you want pitons or spikes? <laughs> 21 to open up the phone call. Okay, so you open it up. All right. Hey, they're ready to go back. Okay, please, yeah. And, please get and, them out of our presence. Yeah, and, and Chilanda says, yes, we're ready to go. And, well, I wasn't uh, asking, but sure. Yeah. Hey, is there a way for us to open that portal that that port call us when we want? You, no, you, only I can. You it's made disgusting. us. You made us good for a second. That was very kind of you guys. These were a little bit of step into our our path. It's wonderful running into you. Now, okay, now carry on. <laughs> she, she shakes her head. All right, and then uh, um, all of a sudden, yeah, the porticlus lifts up. And uh, Shalanda and the men um, head out. I'll run them there and try to throw a couple of pecans up into the corner. Ding, 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 ding. And just just takes them down. <laughs> well, there's your answer. Made a snap. So take off two pecans. <laughs> I see. I'm helping a DM out there, Belva. Well, thank you. Waste a good pecan. <laughs> <laughs> Way too good, Peter. <laughs> you get a bump. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Let's see what's behind door number three. Hopefully, they haven't changed. All right, so uh, you go ahead and. Uh, uh, well, before we go anywhere, all right. I'm going to take 10 minutes and cast water breathing. <laughs> okay, all right. And so I'm putting water breathing on everybody in the group for 24 hours, right? Yeah. All right, perfect. So the leader going in the forest. And right. I'm also so going to cast. All right. Uh, do I? Should I do? Yeah, I'm going to cast aid on me, Dar, and one other person can get it. And how long does aid last? Eight hours, so. Okay. All right. So what does aid do? Give me five max hit points. So, eight hours, no con. Okay, so Dar plus five are max hit points. Mm -hmm. Umbra, yourself, right? Yeah. Who else? Uh, who else wants it? Hit me. Hello. Hello. 
Yeah, and we're do we heal all of our damage? Yes, you're all healed. Uh, everything's back, all your spells. Everybody's minus one. <laughs> so it's L yourself and Dar, right? Yep. Okay. Got so that goes into my second level. When we were all sleeping. Alright, so second level I went in the kitty. I just killed twice and red. Um <laughs> We're going to have to sum up real quick here. I wish you would get that. Alright, so I'm going to take it. Oh, I wish I was level 20, because then I could be an angel too. Alright. Yeah, once I get to level 20, I can become an angel. Alright, so second level is used. But that's a big one. So. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Level 20 takes that big one. All right, perfect. So there we go. So you all step on through then? We've healed up through yep, and and you're all dialed everything back to normal. Yeah, yeah. everything. Yep. Oh, oh, you you your dice are back. Door number three. All right. Here we go. The forest of slows. Hey, what, what's the, the forest of slows? You want to go into the forest of weakness to wither out Ombra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can go up to the forest. Where are our deaths? I've had too much jail. Let's go to the lavatory. Forest of death. <laughs> Forest of death. That's where we can take butt me in. Oh. <laughs> All right. So you guys uh, uh, step on through here. Uh, and uh, as as you uh, as you come through uh, uh, the portal, and it is uh, <coughs> it's like four in the morning, so it's still dark out. Um, uh, there's trees, uh, everywhere, a around you as you come through. Uh, there's actually a tree right to your right, Erebus, as you come, as you come through. Um, as you're open in this large, uh, it's like a forest. Um, uh, there's rock, as you look behind you, uh, there's some rock face, uh, behind you. Uh, make a perception check this for me. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, so uh, you have uh, a few clumps of trees around you. Uh, there's also a couple. Of, there's a pool of of water. It's probably about uh, um, twenty feet from you uh, to your uh, south the southeast. There's another pool a little further um, southwest of you, another pool of water, and that's probably about uh, 30 feet from you. Um, but yeah, so it opens up into this large, um, uh, this is a very large uh, uh, cavern of, uh, of woods. So I will uh, immediately, with my mind, try to reach out to John. Oh, okay. Boom! Wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Get me the hell out of here. Get out of your start list ready yet, do ya? <laughs> no, don't keep the fire away from me. Keep the fire away from me. <sighs> okay. Here, here, here. So, what do you say? I say, uh, John. <laughs> That's it. He's a man of few okay. words. John. Here. Here. Air bits <laughs> in their head. <laughs> yes. No freaking way. <laughs> <laughs> Help yes. me. I'm with this stupid buffoon. You're not talking out loud like you normally do, are you? No, no, I'm not stupid like Dar. 
<laughs> yes, that's my yell. <laughs> no, he says, but I can't. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> what? Do you know where you are? I'm in some stupid ass woods. That's where I'm at. There's a bunch of woods. I'm in the woods too. Well, this 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 demon that I'm with, uh, he's he's hanging out with these two large uh, these uh, two. He probably knows who these are. He does that. These two uh, uh, bay uh, barcas. Agree. <laughs> I know what a is. Uh, you probably do not know what that is. Okay. <laughs> what the heck is a bargain? <laughs> I'll say, what's a bargain? <laughs> they're like, they're like devil dogs. How about that? They're, 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 they're dog, they're demon dogs. But they're nasty. They're basically, they're, they're dogs that uh, want to show the masters of the abyss that they're worthy. And they kill. Oh, yeah. Are there any landmarks that you can use so that I can help locate you? Or is it just trees? Are there hills or anything? Man, it's freaking grass all over here. No, I, I don't know. There's grass and trees, and I've seen water. Um, let's see if he can really. Yeah, I you know there's uh, there's a there's a I've seen a white one of these white gates that they travel through. I saw that. That's by us. All right, Bill. Is it? Um, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna climb into. The, there's a tree right here, right? Uh, yes, there is. Okay. Um, and it seems like a normal tree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as of right now, it. Uh, as of right now, I do not. Uh, that's the answer I want to hear. I go uh, over to Kit and I bring her over to this tree. And I say, is this a normal tree? In the tree in the woods. Um, and <laughs> Kit, uh, go ahead and give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, you transformed into a tree. Fourteen on the die. Plus, um, five, so nineteen. All right. Uh, so, um, you uh, uh, when you started getting close, um, all of a sudden you just felt something like evil, um, and almost, and you have to step back. As your eyes almost glaze over, like you thought you were gonna go blind. Oh, cool. And you're like, this is not normal. This is no ordinary tree. <laughs> okay, all right, hold on. I'll go back to Jack. Jack, can you see? Can you see the sky right now? No, I'm freaking covered in stupid dumb blanket. Okay. <laughs> it's in the bird cage. <laughs> In the cage, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, kitty, kitty cat. What? Are you powerful enough to be called a bird of some kind and fly around and see where we're at? I'm not high enough level. Okay. I don't have that power yet. Oh, I thought I thought you were. You powerful can't turn enough into a tree bird. <laughs> You just uh, so I'll tell Zaz, right. and I'll, uh, I, I can talk to him. I'm trying to, fit, I'm trying to locate him. So he's like close then. Yeah, it must be, must be close. I don't know if we ever examined that range, so I don't know the answer to that. But... Do you, do you want me to go see if I can find him? How? What do you mean how? I think you, yeah, I think you know this that you know he has to be like within a mile of you. Okay, so I'll say that he's within a mile of us. And he's by white, so. I, I mean, I or even L can go do it. L can turn into a damn bat. <clears throat> well, and, uh, just, uh, kid, do you convey that about the tree? <laughs> yeah, I said, this ain't no ordinary tree. Okay, but did you say it? Don't go near it, or did you just say yeah, it? I was like, oh, don't, I, was, I, was, I was sort of saying, don't go near him, he can interrupt me. Uh. Okay, so Abella, I'm gonna I'm gonna do minor illusion, and uh, it's, it looks like the volume can be uh, as loud as the uh, alliance roar, which is pretty loud, I think. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, and range of 30 feet. So I'm going to have a lion roar 30 feet above my head. Okay, so all right. And then, uh, and then right. I'm going to ask Jot uh, if he can uh, tell me uh, if, if, uh, if he heard that. Uh, you go, yes, I can hear it. I can hear it. And then you hear this crackling of, of woods uh, off to your guys' uh, west. And that's where we'll stop for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear that, John? What's that other noise? Oh, that's on my end? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, do you need to answer your question about being a freeloader to turn into a bird? Yeah. Like, for next level. Yeah, I see oh, that. I, I looked it up, too. So after we kill demon dogs, you'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is a perfect place to stop. Yeah, it is. Uh, for of the abyss. Uh, we will see what the day what does the Erebus roar in the woods. I get to destroy my own character? Uh, yeah, That's exactly. going to be fun? There's a bear shit in the woods. I get to kill my does own character? does when he hears that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can just kill my own character. Nah, uh, hardly. <laughs> we will be back. Uh, next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Time, or 7 p.m. Central Time, uh, back for our next show. I don't know if we're going to play this weekend or not. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, he wants to. I want to. I want to actually uh, play this. Yeah, a little, yeah we can, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, Only if Oliver's there. Uh, <laughs> I got it. Uh, so uh, it might be a smaller uh, game. Um, as uh, Erebus is on the road, going to start heading here. Be safe. Uh, he's coming from North Carolina. The hurricane, Mike. The sto I have a storm dodge. is heading his way. Yep, dodge that hurricane. Oh, you're heading here again? That's two of you had to dodge this year. Between the exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Somebody's telling you to move home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So be safe, and yeah, and you might be here at the game next week. Is that right? Yep, I think so. I think I'll be at the table on Wednesday. Uh, so that'll be uh, great to see you, and uh, safe travels. And yeah, anybody out there um, that's been affected by this storm, our prayers and thoughts are with you. Um, stay safe, um, safe as you can uh, with uh, that storm that's crazy going inland. And if you're stuck inside, watch marathon episodes of of Tales from the Tales from Portal. Portal. There you go. Exactly. It's a perfect thing. If you still have power, hopefully you do. Uh, and remember... It's cool to be a geek. Pass it up. Be a vulture. Yeah. <laughs>